<laughs> Hi, I'm Cam. I am the founder of Nyla. I stopped processing my hair chemically in 2009 and that was because I started to do a black history course with Robin Walker and um, I learned really that my hair was a celebration of my heritage or at least I thought so um, and that it, it signified the beauty of all the women who had come before me and I no longer wanted to conform to what society said was beautiful. Um, I grew up in a very Christian household and black history was just something that we didn't really explore and it's, it's really quite unfortunate because in doing that course I started to learn about you know not only our contributions but I developed racial esteem which is really really important I became proud of myself as a black woman I became confident about you know being a black woman and what that meant and understanding um, that it was a very powerful thing it was a very beautiful thing and I stopped trying to change and adapt my blackness to fit in with what society thought was acceptable. When I had my daughter, she had eczema, um, very, very sensitive skin, and I was struggling to find products, one, that were effective, and two, which were mild enough to care for her complex skin needs. Um, so I started to import products in from the US and it was really, really unsustainable. And at the time in the UK, there wasn't as much brands as there are now. We didn't have as much option. And in fact, I couldn't find anything. <laughs> so I started, um, well, I decided that I was going to create something that was suitable for my daughter's and my textured hair, which is you know, 4C, very kinky, thick um, hair. I have a personality where I like to understand, you know, how things work. Um, and why things are the way that they are. And especially for black hair, we know that it is different, we understand that, but we don't understand exactly what's going on um, in terms of a structural level. Of, obviously, we've got hairdressers who, who have that knowledge, but a lot of us don't. Um, so things like porosity, the fact that we have less cuticles, the fact that because of the texture of our hair, our cuticles don't lie flat and that causes you know dehydration of the hair um, things like hydro fatigue what's happening when we're over moisturizing our hair do we need protein and moisture and understanding that balance a lot of people don't know that and I think it's really imperative in order for people to get the best out of our hair especially as black women that we understand exactly why it is the way that it is and then we can choose the products in order to promote its health and begin the process of healing our hair and maximizing its potential when I was selecting my ingredients, and myself and the scientists and the ecologists were selecting our ingredients, we also made sure that we looked at the Environmental Working Group's database. They have a database of all of the um, raw materials available for you know, cosmetic scientists and formulations. And we made sure that our materials um, were registered as a hazard level of 0 to 3, and that's the lowest hazard level you can get. So it wasn't until I got to the point where I felt my product was better and also the professional opinion of you know, the salon owners and the hairdressers felt my product was better, that I was ready to go to market. And I think it's interesting to, um, to note that I've been in the process of developing my formulations for several years. It wasn't something that you know, I just picked the first thing up and decided to run to market with. It was, um, I applied a lot of scrutiny and I was very, very meticulous in terms of how I wanted it to perform, um, especially being quite effective again for your kinkier hair types, which is the hair type that my daughter and I have. And at that point, I, you know, I thought it was ready to go. You know, that racial esteem, pride in our heritage, is really important to me, hence the reason why the slogan is Heritage, Hair and Science. I really do believe that they go hand in hand. Um, I believe that there is a lack of awareness still amongst um, children in terms of their history and I would like to use the brand to develop that. Um, also, I think in terms of STEM, which is um, you know science, technology, engineering, and mathematical careers, I think that there needs to be an awareness amongst you know black children or children of black descent to move into those kinds of professions. And my 
day job, <laughs> so to speak, is I'm a careers advisor. So I'm always looking at ways that I can use the brand and the company to also um, raise the development and the achievements of young black people and young black children. So I'm, I'm working on a few things that are really, really exciting.